Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Honorable The judges of this competition Respectable The all of committees Unforgettable Everyone who is watching my video today Firstly Let's pray a thanks to Almighty God Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Because of him We are liable to join this contest and secondly, my peace and salutation always be given to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who has guided us from the darkness to the lightness, from the stupidity to the gladness, namely Islamic religion. And thirdly, I would like to say thank you so much to the committee who gave me a very special opportunity to take this contest. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Anna Musoli, and in this video, I would like to talk about character education to reduce moral crisis. In this era, we have vendor to moral crisis, especially among teenagers who are starting to abandon the noble values that have been the identity of our nation for a long time. This is not something to be taken lightly, but must be dealt with seriously and given more attention, especially by those responsible for education. One of the reasons for moral crisis among students is lack of character education that is taught in the school. Yeah. Character education is a system of insulin character values that encompass knowledge and also actions and emotion as a form of cultivating individual morals and behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, this moral crisis is not just an issue. There have been several students that have proven it. One of them Conducted by an independent institution that feels that around 65% of today's youth have had a sexual relationship with another gender or the same gender, which shouldn't be happening at their age. And apart from sexual relationship, it turns out that drug abuse is also escalating, especially among teenagers. And according to the data from the National Narcotic Agency, DNA, the uses of drug abuse among teenagers have reached 79%. And every seven minutes, there is a death because of drug abuse. Wow, that's so dangerous, right? Can you imagine? How disheartening it is to see so many young generations getting trapped in this illegal circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, from the information that uh, has been explained earlier, it is clear how the current situation in our country is depicted. And then whoever has a rule of education that should be provided by schools, teachers, and also parents been during this time, then why do so many young generation get involved with in action that don't reflect our nation's identity and even harm the reputation in our nation itself? Why? And after doing some research, the result was surprising. The reason why do so many young generation do things like that? That's all because of the lack of proper education that is given at school. Yeah, that's of course, ladies and gentlemen. So many schools programs are just focused on getting high scores, then educating the student to improve their attitude and behavior. Ladies and gentlemen, Providing proper education 
is not only teacher's responsibility at school, but also parents have a big responsibility in educating their children. Because the family is the most effective place of education. Parents should pay more attention to develop their children so that they don't fall into bad days. If parents have educated their children at home and the teachers have guided them at school, there will be no more teenagers who lose their character. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, so let us serve the next generation in our nation, which is on the verge of collapse. Don't let our nation to be filled with a young generation who don't have corrupted. Because of that, we must act quickly by helping. Find their right identity by providing proper education to them so that this nation can survive with destruction. This is a short speech that I condemn for at this time. And I do apologize if there are a lot of mistakes. And thank you so much for your nice attention. And I hope this speech is useful for us. And in the last I say, Summa Salamu Alaikum Warahmatullah Wabarakatuh.